Hey dear fellow collectors, today I got a brand new review. I did a review yesterday. For those who've seen it, thank you, appreciate it. I do it for fun, not to get the reviews. Um, before I begin, let's keep mentioning that this review is intended for adult collectors only. Again, adult collectors only. So if you're underage, please stop watching. And let's begin. So today I went to my family's home and I picked up, you see here in the box. I don't need to say it. The name is there. This is the shipper box that it comes in. I haven't seen any reviews of her yet online, so I guess I'm the first one doing a review on this doll, and I'm actually gonna take her out the box. So again, I, like I said in the other video, the only reason I'm doing this is because of space issues. Um, just can't have too many dolls in the box when I came and display most of them. I'm, most of my dolls I have them stored away, so. And that's not the purpose to why we buy dolls. We like to look at them and admire them and play with them and, you know, dress them or whatever we want to do with them in terms of exchanging of clothing. So it came wrapped up in tissue, as you can see here. Let me zoom out a little bit more. As you can see here, this is the tissue. All right, let's take this off. And voila. So here is the amount you see here. Let me zoom in. You guys can see there. No more than 20,000 worldwide made. You guys can see here. Here's some information there. Here's the barcode. Here's a little information about the doll. You guys can pause and read that because I'm not gonna read that for you. I don't need to do that. We're not here for the reading. We're here for the displaying and the viewing of the doll itself, right? So here is some glossy letters, as you can see from the ring light, it's picking it up. Here is the bottom portion here, which gives you the description of the doll. And here is her picture. You guys can see right here. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful picture. Um, so yeah, zoom out there. And let's... Start. Okay, I want to kind of get the experience with you guys at the same time, so. Uh, so let's put this here. Well, that's not going to work, so let's take that out. And one, two, three. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, wow. Wow, look at this. This is what you get in the box. Oh my God. And I thought these little um, flower prints here, I thought they were black, so they're actually blue. You guys can see it there, it's catching right in the light there. They actually look a dark navy blue color. Let me, let me pick up here so you guys can see her sweet little face. Look at that. Very, very cute. Oh my God. Okay, so she does have a hairnet. I cannot recall, it was the last time I seen a silk stone with uh, a hairnet on. Um, I feel like they kinda stopped doing that after a while, I don't know why. All right, time to the box. So another thing here that, before I read the box, let me just say, um, I've seen a lot of people talk about, hey, how there is three, if there are actually three of them, you know, which one are they? So for those who have been curious, in the anniversary collection, everything started with the 75th anniversary that Mattel had just made 75 years in the toy business. And they came and they released her. Sorry for the glare. She is covered in a plastic that I specifically use for my silk stones. If you guys are interested in that, you guys can look it up in the other um, videos there. But yeah, so this one was the first one here, you know. And then the second one they did was him. So we have Ken. So we basically have one, two, and she would be the third one. I understand that Barbie convention have released two other versions of her, which was the brunette and the one, I forgot, I think she was like a redhead or something like that, or brown hair, or one with black hair and a brunette. 
I, I know I saw pictures, I just can't recall. If they did not present those dolls to us as anniversary dolls, and those were just like gift, gift or purchase at your convention or your opportunity to purchase those dolls, then I, in my opinion, I don't think that those are just part of this anniversary collection that's coming that you guys can see actually here in front of you guys. So basically 75 years that Mattel made, he made 60 years, 60 years as well, right? So I'm just curious of what else they're gonna come out with later on in the future. Now, in my opinion, I think that Mattel should create a silk stone of this cute little guy here, in my opinion. So Alan needs some love. This is my vintage Alan. He's completely protected in this box. So we're not here for that. We're here for her. So let's take these two out. I just wanted to say that because I think that some people are confused. Or just, I don't know, I just wanted to share. <laughs> All right, so let's take her out the box. Okay, she comes with... Her certificate in the back, you guys can see here. There's her certificate. And let's take this off. She does have her stand. Now, for us who are inbox collectors, be mindful because I don't understand why Mattel keeps doing this. They did it with also the 75th anniversary. Why on earth are they putting black ribbon on these dolls when the black ribbon has the potential to stain these dolls' skin? Um, they need to stop doing that. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you all totally agreed. And oh my God, this stand. Okay, so let's show you the inside here. So again, here is the certificate. You guys can look at it, that there. And of course, it comes with um, care instructions here. You guys can look at that there as well. So let me just adjust this light here. You guys can see better. Um, yeah, you guys can see here for those who are curious. So yeah, so we have that. That's cool. Okay, let me pick up paper that's stuck there. All right, there's nothing inside. Just it comes like that. So don't worry, you're missing out on anything because you're not. Okay, so it's tied up like this. Simple tying, which is okay. I'm not mad at it. So if you wanted to put her back, you can. If you have other ribbon, use a clear ribbon. So I would suggest to do that. Let me hold, hold on, let me get a pair of scissors. Got the scissors. Um, okay, so let's cut this out. Because this is a real knot and I won't be able to take that off. So. I know for some of you guys, they're like, you guys are like, oh my God, he's actually taking it out the box. I'm, you, I do have my other six silk stones in the box. I don't usually take my dolls out the box, especially our silk stone doll. Um, the only thing I have out, I basically have like maybe like three or four silk stones that I've actually deboxed. But this would be my first one in a long time taking out of the box. Okay. Arm is wrapped there. Okay. Wait, what's going on here? There we go. Alrighty. Okay, so we also have her little bag. Okay, got that out. And then we have the stand. I'm gonna... Jesus. And then we have that. So that's what's going on. Okay, so stand wise, I'm very surprised they did this because this is a silk stone. And as we all know, for those who already own silk stones, the dolls are relatively heavy. So I don't know why they did this. They gave us. This stand, as you can see here with the Barbie name, which is also her logo, um, with this, uh, um, this, this is why, again, shortcuts, again, shortcuts. What happened to those really heavy stands that we used to get with the other dolls? Like, what's up with that? 
Okay, here's her little bag. Okay, there's nothing. Is this open? Okay, this does not open. This is actually stitched on. I don't have a vintage one to compare, so you guys can zoom into this so you guys can see. Um, yeah, that's her bag. It does not open. Here's the back. It's just basically some material, some fabric material. It feels like almost like a very thin polyester type material. That's what the inside looks. My nails look like crap. We're going to close up, but FYI. <laughs> Anyways, that's not important. This is what we came here for. Give you a little twirl here so you guys can see. She has some box hair there. Here we go. You guys can see here. There's her tag and her little shoes. She does have some nice weight to her. I can tell you that definitely. Uh, let's see. Okay, mine has, you see the, what is that? Okay, so I wrote to the designer, which is Bill Greeny. I asked him a question. Um, yes, we're social media friends. Um, he's really cool people. Um, when he gets to me, he gets to me when I ask him a question and I'm very grateful that he answered me. Um, I asked them if they created a zipper or they actually put snaps or whatever it was that they put back there. I, said, either, I told them either a zipper or a snap. He said the only reason they put a snap is because because due to COVID, they couldn't get the zippers, I uh, guess, fast enough or soon enough. So they just went up in and did the snaps. So I actually... Okay, so she has a snap, but she's basically... What's going on here? Okay, there's something going on here. I don't know what that is. Is it a hook? What is this? What's going on here? Okay, you guys see? Okay, this is like a hook or something because... I don't know what's going on there. Wait, so she has... Okay, she has a snap, but she is sewn. She has like a little... Okay, that's what it is. She has a stitch. You see it? You see the stitch right here? That gold little stitch. Okay, I'm going to take that off. I know. Scissors. Without cutting the... There we go. Okay, now I was able to do it. Okay, so she was stitched. Okay. Uh, I just want to see what the inside of this dress looks like. Just to kind of get a, a, a quick peek. You know? This is what we're here for, to see. Let me zoom out a little bit. You guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so she has these little plastic straps that holds up the dress. Okay. I don't have a vintage, obviously, doll of this t of this era because I don't. <laughs> but to compare, so I don't know if the fabric is thicker. I I appreciate the fact that they 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 wrapped her in plastic, and meanwhile they didn't do that for the Dia de Muertos Ken. They, he's wearing completely black and they didn't wrap his body. So I don't understand that. But I guess for silk stones, I guess it matters more. Okay, let's put her down. And let's look at the inside. So this is what it looks like on the inside. I kind of like this navy color. That's really pretty. Okay, and then you have the inside there. Where's our tag? You don't have a tag? Don't they usually put tags? Okay, it's right here. I can feel it. Okay. The tag is right. I don't know if you guys can see that. But there's a tag right here in the bottom. Okay, so she comes wrapped in plastic, which is amazing. Here's her little beautiful little hands. Again, my nails look like crap. Here's her little tag. You guys can see. Here's her little nails are painted. Nails are painted. Okay, and then obviously her toes are painted too, so she has a pedicure and a manicure. All right, so let's take off the hair net. Let's take it off. Okay. 
Uh, ooh. Oh, this is this hair is like really on tight. Okay. Oh my my, this hair nut. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay, she snagged on the earring there. There we go. There she is. Not too bad on the box here. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. So this is what her hair looks like. In the back you guys can see how lovely she needs to get like a little touched up here and there I'll probably take like a little brush like a toothbrush type of thing and just kind of touch her up so let's do a close-up of her face I keep seeing a lot of people make comments from other people that posted um, their pictures of her they like that her brows look too right too high up um, I don't see that problem with mine. So I think her brows look kind of cool. I got something in her face. Okay, that blew it up. Uh, nope. Okay. FYIs, if your nails are not done. Yeah. Wow. I could definitely see. The mine has a little flaw. Do you guys see it? Let's see if you guys can see that. Where am I bugging? Yeah, so mines you see on the on the eye on the left side, they missed a little part there. They didn't get to paint that thoroughly there. I want to the uh, post the one on the right is well painted. So you see that? You can see it there. I mean, the camera is definitely picking up more. And the camera is definitely picking up more. Um, but in person, when you look at it, you can't even notice it. But because she is zoomed in on the camera, you definitely can see everything. Here's her side profile there. And here's the other side of the profile. Okay, so let's do a little bit more close up again. Plastic. You guys can see the stamp right there, her butt, or is right on this side right here. So you guys can see there. Okay. I like her. She's so cute. She's very pretty. Congratulations to those who also um, received her. Um, yeah, her hair is really nice and tight, I must say. It's nice and soft. Thanks God they didn't put any product in there. It's nice and tight, so yay. Cool. So cute. All right, I'm going to dress her up, and we'll be gone from there, okay? Be right back. Okay, I'm back, and she's dressed. Um, as I was putting on the dress, as well, technically, when we take off the doll's clothes, is usually the most easiest part. And then when you do put them on and when they do have snaps, it becomes a little of a challenge because, well, for most dolls, in this one, I really need to do something with her hair. So let me just kind of like bring the camera down a little bit so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So on this part here, you see I still has the stitching there. I need to take that off. So on this part here, because it's stitched, the snap wouldn't snap really well so i guess they put the stitching there to really hold this piece in place be mindful of that so when your guys are taking this out for those who take out the doll out the box be careful with this area here the bottom snap the snap on the bottom part which is right behind the stand here um that one went on really easily but i guess because this part right here of the dress is extremely tight there so I can see the reason to why they did that. Um, just be mindful of that. Uh, as we also know that the straps here on the shoulders, these straps here on the shoulders were actually there, are actually there to help to support the top part of her dress, which covers her, you know, her bust area. So be mindful of that. Um, but other than that, I don't have any complaints aside from the stupid stand that they sent us. I hate these stands. 
Why on earth did you send us a, make a silk stone and send us a hollow stand? Like, why? Why? I don't understand that. They should not be doing that. Bill Greeny, you did an amazing job recreating this doll. And I know you're just a designer. And you can't really say, the you know, what can be added on, what can be taken off. Because at the end of the day, that's Mattel's saying. You know, those are the, you know, your superiors. Um, but over than that, I give you kudos, high five, everything, hug, kisses, whatever. You did an amazing job. You always do a good job with your dolls. Um, and I appreciate you for that. So thank you again very much, Bill. So, yeah. So she's, overall, she's a beautiful, beautiful doll. You guys, for those who got her, congratulations. I am extremely happy with her. I'll be putting her next to my other dolls, um, vintage dolls, because I do have some other vintage dolls. Um, not that many, just maybe like five, but I do have some. But I'm going to put her right next to it because I think she's going to fit right in. So, you know, let me just give her again another little twirl here for you guys so you guys can see. Yeah, I need to fix that hair right here. So like this, I'll fix that. I have a little... Um, brow brush here. First of all, this also looks like a mascara brush, but it's nice for the brows. Uh, so yeah, here's a little twirl and a little bit of a close up. Look how pretty, beautiful, beautiful doll. Okay, let me go like this. So you guys can see. I put her little bag like this. She holds it on the side there. You guys can see here, this is what it looks like on the stand. Here's the shoes. See that little bending part on the shoes? I hate that. I hate that so much. And that's because of the... Oh, God, this stand is horrible. Um, yeah, I fixed that. See? Okay. So make sure you just kind of like stand up straight like this on the stand. So like that, the heel won't bend. So, yeah, just that's another thing. Um, let's do the side. There's a little tag. But yeah, um, here she is. Here's, um, Miss Bubble, uh, what is it? <laughs> uh, the 1961 Signature Bubble Cut Barbie Doll Silkstone to us. Um, but yeah, here she is. I hope this review was very helpful. Um, I try to do this as much as possible as I can. I try to get through these really fast. I try not to talk too much shit on this on these videos because people are here just to see the doll and not to hear me if I can talk to her which is crap. But um, but yeah, I'm gonna fix her hair and I will be putting her with her sisters and I'll be taking photos as well. So yes, be on the lookout for the photos. And thank you for enjoying and watching the videos. And you guys are awesome. Amazing collectors out there. I got to meet some really cool people. And I totally, I totally, 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 totally appreciate you guys. <laughs> but yeah, thank you again. You guys are amazing. And stay tuned till next time. Until I do another review. So thank you again for watching. Ooh, look at me. I'm making a mess with the camera. <laughs> Bye.